Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Yeah, so last video we tried to summon for Luocha and it didn't really work out that well. As you can see, I'm kind of just sitting here on this bridge. I've been trying to jump off of it for a while now and I don't think I can build the courage to do it. So I thought I'd just start recording and maybe I'll want to jump off when I'm done or something. I have no clue. This video I'm going to show you guys how Natasha is the best DPS in the game. Now I know what you guys are probably thinking, Natasha cannot be a DPS, she's literally a healer, but I would like to argue that you just don't know anything. So let's go ahead and try and convince you guys that Natasha is like a DPS or whatever. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so this is basically Natasha, and uh, I'll just go ahead and show up the stats real quick. So these are the stats, this is literally all you need for Natasha. The 2 plus speed is pretty important because most bosses in this game are uh, 98 speed. Obviously I did the math on all of these and uh, these are like perfect, perfect stat lines. This is my crit damage, obviously uh, you need crit damage or you're just not going to do any damage. My crit rate is a little on the low side, however 5% is not that hard to hit. I mean if you can't hit 5% then you can just restart the mission. Uh, this game doesn't really punish you for restarting missions. Uh, the only thing that you lose is time, but if you're free to play like me, you're used to it. We have a little bit of effect res in here. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to get debuffed, obviously, so I think 19% is pretty good. And then we got some hit rate, too. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and show off uh, what light cone I'm running. I know what you might be thinking here, and you know, obviously you're wrong. Basically, the only reason I'm not running a damage artifact is because Natasha puts out so much damage that uh, it literally doesn't even matter. Uh, I don't even need a, I don't even need this artifact. I can literally just take it off if I really wanted to. I do have an E1 Natasha, so if you don't have it, it might affect your damage output. After being attacked, if the current HP percentage is 30% or lower, Heal self for one time, two, uh, to restore HP and max plus 400 uh, per battle. If you don't have a good Natasha like I do, you're probably not going to survive like a lot of the battles. But, I mean, you know, uh, it is what it is. So as you can see with my Natasha here, she has 470 attack. I know that's a lot of attack and... You guys might be wondering, where's all that attack going to? Well, it's going to her ability. So the biggest ability that she has is her basic attack. And that's going to deal physical damage equal to 6% of Natasha's attack to a single enemy. This is her best, uh... <coughs> so as you can see, <laughs> Natasha... She immediately attacks an enemy after entering a battle. If you don't know what this is, it's basically Natasha has like a cannon. She like blows somebody apart. She has like a humongous cannon. Uh, I don't know any like healer or support unit that has a cannon. So obviously this is just the developers telling us that Natasha is a DPS unit. I'm gonna go ahead and use it on these people over here. Uh, her ultimate is pretty simple. Uh, just heals everybody. But uh, obviously, if we're using it for DPS, we don't really need that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's okay, I guess. That's basically like Natasha in a nutshell. Uh, oh, my, my apologies. I almost forgot to show the relics. So, yeah, these are the relics. I'm re One more thing. She is a combat type physical. So, she uses physical attacks to trigger weakness break with deal. Will, will deal physical damage and apply the bleed effect. So yeah, if you don't know what the bleed effect is, uh, I don't know it either, but I'm sure it's good. Yep, that's Natasha. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. If this, you know, made you summon for Natasha or whatever, that's good. Uh, okay, bye.